Welcome to Hunting with Crazy Dave. I'm Crazy Dave, coming to you on top of the Winnipeg Outpost. Today we're doing a story mission, and it's Connor's Capture the Landscape. Now, right now, this is the only story mission I got, so uh, hopefully I'll open some up with this one. So if not, then I'll do some more side missions. I did four or five side missions. I didn't open nothing up, so we'll have to see how that goes. But uh, what I've done is I placed tents at all the landmarks so I can just spawn in and take the picture so you don't have to watch me run all over the place and drive crazy on my quad. So uh, uh, let's uh, look at the map. Okay, we're going to start at the far side of the map. Go to the, the hiking village. Now... The hiking village is right here. There is a, a, if you got it open up, there's a landmark there. If you don't, then it'll be a question mark. But that's where it is right there. So I got a tent right there. I shouldn't have put it so close to that landmark. But, uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we can take the picture right there from this landmark sign. And it'll work. But we'll see. There it is. Got the picture. So that's pretty easy. This is going to be an easy mission. So that's the hiking village. And there's the landmark right there. So uh, that's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to pick my tent up while I'm here. And we'll go to the next one. Uh, I want to. Alright. Uh, So the next one is the formation. So the High Lake Rock Formation is right here. And uh, these are actually the formations right up in here. Uh, maybe right up in here, but this is the this is the rock formations right up in here. But uh, again, you, if it's open, you got a landmark. If not, then you'll have a question mark. So, uh, and I got a tent right here. Alright. Well, I'm gonna try to take it from right here. This is a good, a good view of the landmark, so. Of the rock formations. Maybe I'll bring it out a little bit. There we go. That'll do it. Alright. Let's uh I'm going to uh put this can I just picked up into storage. Pick this one up. So that's the rock formation. The last one is Winnipeg Caves. Winnipeg Cave is right here. And uh, again, you, if you don't have it open up your landmark. Um, <coughs> what I will say about Winnipeg Cave uh, if you want to go into the cave, this north entrance right here is a lot easier to get into than it is right here at this opening. You can see the opening right here. But uh, if you go down here, go in the cave there, it's a lot easier. So I just want to say that about the cave. And there is a, a, a collectible in the cave. Okay. Let's see if we can get a picture of the cave. Well.
great. You got them all. Right, I've got a are. printer back at the lodge, and I promised to right, print it out a little for hard. so I can take it from here. Thanks for all your help. Hey, I just heard from Paul, and it seems we might have a missing hiker. Got lost this morning and didn't end up at a meeting point as planned. Search and rescue's tied up elsewhere, so Paul went out looking for him. We'd sure appreciate some extra help, though. So, the missing fella's name is James Worthington. 36. Headed out into Heighton Peaks this morning. If you can pick up on his trail, then we'll get a better idea of where he might have ended up. We think he might have started his hike from the Chopeka outpost. He was supposed to meet a friend by the tower in Winnipeg, so start your search in Chopeka. Alright, so we opened up a new mission. So I do, and I will be doing it tonight, so it'll... It'll be, uh... It'll be, uh, if I can get my, get my deal up, uh, let's see. Oh, that's my inventory. Okay, we got three. Trampine is lost. Connor, Emily, Hart, Elk. And Beatty. To the rescue. So we're it gonna seems do. Seems as if Emily isn't quite done dressing up our fire watchtowers yet. She's been out looking for Roosevelt elk with Beatty recently, and I guess at some point she got the idea to hang an elk trophy up in one of the Calburn towers. She asked if you could help out by bagging one. Roosevelt elk can be real tricky to find. But she mentioned seeing some pass by a hunting stand in Calburn several times in the past. That's as good a place as any to start. Okay, so that'll be another one. That's Emily, Emily Hart noticed, Elk. Emily is fascinated by the Roosevelt. I guess the only thing out here she fancies more is Paul. The two have grown quite close over the seasons. So, uh, I'll go ahead and probably do, uh, BD to, to rescue, and, uh, Trampine is lost tonight, so I'll have three videos to post, uh, tonight, or in the morning. So, uh, I'll post them in the morning. So, anyway, be sure and like this video if it's been helpful or you just enjoyed it. Be sure and, uh... Leave me a comment. Let me know you stopped by. And as always, hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you can keep up with my upcoming contents. Be sure and check out the description of my video. It's got my Twitch yes, channel on. Uh, I link knew to it my would come to this. Listen, Tramp Fine is gone. No sign of him anywhere. That means no bad signs either. But I've got a bad feeling about this. The last one to see him was a hiker. Not too far from Mount Kraken. Trampfine used to tell me he thought there was a secret government facility or some such up by that mountain. Now, that's just a bunch of hokum, of course, but I can tell you what ain't. Mount Kraken is bear country, and Jonathan's been getting too darn close to those bears. Could you head on out there and see if you can find out what's going on? I'll do what I can on my end. Okay, so that's the three... Three missions, Trampines, Connor, and Beatty. So, uh, what I was saying is be sure and, uh, check out the description in the video. And, uh, uh, you'll find my, the link to my Twitch channel there. I broadcast every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Central Time. I also links to my social media, my Facebook, and my Instagram. So be sure and follow me on those. This is Crazy Dave, and until next time, we'll see ya.